Shields up, Iron Breakers. We're kind of here coming at you with another video, and today we're going to be talking about Fatalis, more specifically the challenge level of Fatalis. Because as you guys know, I live streamed, uh, you know, the arrival of Fatalis yesterday, and it was a friggin' amazing stream. Let me just start this off by thanking each and every one of you that showed up last night. It was uh, over 4,000 people at some point. I think we almost hit 5,000, which is completely insane. Like, I'm, I'm incredibly humbled by everyone's support you guys show up you through a bunch of super chats a bunch of new uh, members and stuff it really helps out with supporting the channel uh i gotta i gotta be honest with you guys there really 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 helps out and it just makes my day to see so many people enjoying this game that a couple of years ago was so incredibly niche right and um i, I do realize that during the alatreon stream not the fatalis one yesterday the alatreon stream when he came out for the first time i did get uh significantly frustrated because i wasn't expecting that level of difficulty and also you guys need to understand when i do these live streams like the monster usually arrives at around 1 a.m my time and uh, after that, I still have to wait for like a full hour for the download plus the installation process. So I'm just sitting there on stream waiting for that. That kind of gets your anxiety going. You're like, dude, there's like 4,000 people watching me install this game right now, right? But anyway, uh, besides the point, as you guys know, I later talked about Alatreon with a cooler mind. And I said, uh, it's an amazing fight. It's a really fun fight. And it's just outstanding I, I really enjoyed the alatreon fight so this time around i was more prepared for the level of difficulty and you didn't really see that frustration come out because i was kind of expecting uh, fatalis to be a significant challenge and uh naturally whenever something is challenging enough you get a couple of people coming out of the woodwork saying this needs a nerf this is impossible we can't do this the need to lower his hp needs to deal less damage etc 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 and first let me just express my frustration with one thing in regards to the fatalis fight and that is the fact that they grossly nerfed the alatreon that you have to fight in order to get to him. And I know that some people will call what I'm going to talk about in this video as gatekeeping, but I completely disagree with that statement. I don't think that uh, the Alatreon fight is gatekeeping because I think that everyone is should be allowed to see the content, but not necessarily everyone should be allowed to finish the content unless you rise up to the challenge. And that is a very key thing about Fatalis, because like I said, the the moment people started seeing how hard Fatalis was going to be, it was like instant call for nerfs. Everybody was like, they got to nerf Fatalis, they got to nerf it, they got to nerf it. It was the same thing with Alatreon, if you think back to it. Everybody was saying, oh, this is a garbage mechanic, this is yada, yada, yada. And um, look, you're entitled to your opinion. Uh, let me just give you guys my opinion on why I think that those things are wrong, right? So all of the encounters up until Alatreon were, you know, significantly doable um, either solo or in a group or whatever. Pretty much they're mostly doable in uh, with a basic understanding of how the game works, with a basic understanding of how your gear works, with upgrading, with making a, a decent mixed set. You can usually get through most challenges in the game uh, without too much of a problem. I know that some people will be like, oh, but Lunastra and her Nova and yada yada. Yeah, sure, but I'm sure that most of you were able to beat that regardless of what you used. Oh, but Kushala and his tornadoes. Yes, sure. Uh, oh, but Safi, and it requires four players. Yeah, Safi is a siege event. It's supposed to be like that. Fatalis, by the way, does not require four players. It is scaled for solo. It is, however, extremely hard. You guys are correct when you say that. It is a hard encounter, but it is designed to be a hard encounter. It is designed to be like the last hurrah for Monster Hunter World when it comes to boss fights. It is designed to be the ultimate boss. In Monster Hunter lore, Fatalis is essentially a god. That's what Fatalis is considered to be. You're fighting a god. You're not supposed to just go in there with your your basic blast set, uh, your you know your very basic uh, master's touch set, and completely and utterly destroy Fatalis. And I'm not here to give you guys uh, tips today. I mean, I, I could tell you a couple of things, like uh, you know, if you want to wall bang him, you have to do it twice. You have to do the wall bang thing twice in order to actually get a successful wall bang. There's cannons, there's ballista, there's binders in there. You want to make sure that you use those as much as you can, even though if you're soloing 
using the cannons is not a particularly easy thing to do. Uh, maybe if you have like a, a shield palico or something, maybe you can pull that off. But the, the reason I'm not here to give you guys just like a full on tip is because I myself haven't killed it. And one of the things that I wanted to bring up in this video is that if I end up never killing Fatalis, I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing. Whereas most people are like, no, I got, I got to kill it. I got to, I got to kill this boss. I got, I got to see what happens after. I got, I got to see his armor. I got. Whereas I'm just like sitting here, like, wow, wow, dude, look at how hard it is. It's incredibly hard. I'm sitting here thinking of different. Uh, you know, weapon combinations. I'm think I'm sitting here thinking about how am I going to try this? Shall I do this in a group? Shall I do this with two players? What what type of strategy am I going to employ? And a, a really a, a really cool thing that I thought was amazing was that um, you know people were tracking the progress of other streamers and and whatnot and other prominent players within the community. And people were telling me in my stream, like after I, I was about three hours in or something, people were telling me. Hey, Rurikan, Kanta hasn't killed it yet. And I was like... And for those of you who don't know who Kanta is, because there were a couple of you guys uh, last night who were like, who's Kanta? Kanta is uh, a very uh, prolific Monster Hunter player. He's really, really good at the game. He's freaking amazing. Um, his, his actual uh, channel name is Kanta Perme 92 on Twitch. Uh, if you just look uh, up on YouTube, Kanta Perme, you'll, you'll find a bunch of his kills. You'll, you can see what type of skill level we're talking about. He's a really good player, and he usually speedruns, he usually solos most things. So the fact that Kanta, about three hours after the encounter had released, still hadn't killed it, it gave you a clear idea. Because, like, to give you an idea, with Alatran, I think it took Kanta, like, I don't know, half an hour or something before his first kill, maybe even less, who knows, maybe an hour. I, I don't actually remember, because I wasn't following, but I, I remember that shortly after Alatran came out, people were like, oh yeah, Kanta did it in 15 minutes. Um, and so it was like, it was very humbling to see that this was a monster that even one of the best Monster Hunter players uh, was struggling with it uh, three hours later. Eventually when I finished my stream, I tried sending as many people as possible to his stream to kind of like support uh, his efforts and stuff. And it's just cool to, to see Kanta play because he plays on a, on a different skill level, for me at least, because I, I, I'm not the best hunter. You guys know this. Like, I'll, I'll I'll be good with a couple of weapons. I'll be decent with a couple of weapons that's more like that. I still make a lot of mistakes. But I usually do enough to hold my own in a hunt. And, you know, I, I like to challenge myself to a couple of hard solos here and there. But I'm not the best hunter, and that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Um, and ultimately, it was just really cool to see the level of challenge that they provided here because you, ha you guys have to think about something which is considering that most monsters usually you know the the high-end players just go in there and destroy them think about what it must have felt like for someone like kanta to be stuck there for four hours actually progressing this i don't know if it, i think it was around four hours by the time he got it down to be stuck there for four hours progressing in the fight actually working his way towards a kill this was the first time i feel like a lot of um the the more the more prominent hunters were really challenged like to give you guys an idea the the timer on fatalis is 30 minutes it took kanta 27 minutes and a couple of seconds on his first kill and, that, and that's when I was like, well, I probably should go to sleep because this thing ain't going to die anytime soon. But it, it's just one of those things. It gives you something to work towards. It gives you something for you to like look at and you're like, oh man, I'm, I'm going to get you one of these days. You, you chip away at it. You practice. You learn more. Uh, and again, some people might never be able to beat him. And then there's probably going to be a lot of people that are also going to cheat. Like I would expect people to cheat particular particularly on uh, the pc side of things because you know you have easier access to modding tools and stuff like that that allow you to just like destroy the monster but i would advise you guys not to go down that route because what is your feeling of, of achievement going to be when you just like kill it with a cheat is that is that really going to you know is that really going to get your hunter spirit going you know are you really going to feel accomplished after you just like you know put in the mod whatever and one shot fatalis like hell yeah dude i'm an amazing hunter no no dude it's about chipping away at it it's about practicing like my solo alatreon kill it took me a bunch of hours i was uh probably like for the better part of a day just like sitting there repeating 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 until i got that sub 15 minute kill on alatreon and it's not impressive 
It's not an impressive time at all, but I did it, right? And it felt good. And you get a feeling of accomplishment. Like you may not be the best, but you still went in there and you gave it your best and you beat it. And whether or not you beat it, whether it becomes something that you're just like slowly chipping away at and you're like always looking at the distance, like you have that long-term goal, dude, one of these days, man, I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna beat Fatalis. Like that's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Even if some people never beat it, it's not a bad thing. Even if I never beat it, it's not a bad thing. It's hard content. It's something that demands that you rise up to the challenge. Something that you really got to give it your all. You got to, you know, just try to do the best set you, boss you possibly can. You got to really be able to predict all of his telegraphs and be able to get out of the way of his most damaging attacks. You got you to just do your best. And um, I don't know, I, I, like, I like that type of challenge. And, and sure, sometimes in stream, you might see me get frustrated, like I said, because, you know, on stream, I'm not filtering my emotions. If I get frustrated, I'll get frustrated and I'll vent my frustrations. But ultimately, when you look at a fight with a cold level uh, head, it's just about whether or not that fight was fun, whether or not you rising up the challenge was fun. And if it's not fun for you, then maybe Fatalis is just not an encounter for you. Don't be like, oh, no, just just lower the gold posts. Is, is it lowering the goalposts? Change the goalposts? I, I don't know. Just just lower the bar of difficulty so that I can make it through as well. That That's not it. That's not what any of this is all about. In, in any game, really. Like, you know, they develop the game with a challenge. And if it's doable, if you rise up to that, if you reach that level of, of skill, it's going to feel to you a thousand times better than it ever will if they just keep lowering the bar. You just have to keep shooting higher. And uh, yeah, like I said, I really don't have a lot of tips for Fatalis because I haven't killed him yet. Uh, I don't know if I'll be streaming today or not because I'm, I'm super tired. You guys can probably tell in my eyes I'm like mega tired. We were up, up super late last night and my energy levels are just at the bare minimum. I just wanted to do this video so that people understand, uh, at least to try and get people to see that like, look, it's okay if you don't get to defeat the final boss because it was mega hard. Nobody's going to think any less of you, so long as you at least put in a little bit of effort to try. You have to try. And if you defeat it, that's great. And if you don't, that's fine too. But the worst thing you can do is like, hey, can I get some, uh, can, I, can you lower the bar of difficulty a little bit? Can, can you just make it so that I can beat it too? It's like, I don't know, dude. I, I, I don't know. It, it, it's been something that's been happening with Souls games as well. Uh, like, I remember the Sekiro thing, it was it was such a, a stupid debate when people are like, oh, I can't play Sekiro, it's too hard. And it's like, well, maybe Sekiro is not for you. There's a million games out there. Do you have to play Sekiro? It's like, there's a million monsters for you to hunt in Monster Hunter. Do you absolutely have to kill Fatalis if you don't have enough skill to do it? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this. I don't consider this to be gatekeeping. I actually think it's the other way around. Like, if you make the monster easier, like, what does that do to players like Kanta? They don't get their challenge. It's like you can't keep having, you know, uh, encounters designed around the lowest skilled hunter. It's not the way that it works. There should be a challenge for the higher skilled players out there. And that's Fatalis right now. And maybe, you know, maybe in a couple of hours, even after I release this video, someone has the biggest cheese strategy uh, that you can use on Fatalis. I'm, I'm not checking strategies right now because, again, I want to beat him on my own terms. And then I'll come back and see the strategies that people are doing. Because that's something that is very fun and appealing to me, to try and beat these hard fights. But yeah, that's, that's I guess, the point of this video. I'm, I'm sorry, I got a little bit rambly there towards the end thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit it up with a like button if you did not enjoy this video hit it up with a dislike button uh let me know in the comment sections your your thoughts about all of this topic because i know that this is going to be something that's going to come up I, I can already see mainstream journos coming in here and being like oh once again here we go the elitists are gatekeeping our games again i i oops Sorry, I banged the microphone. I, I, I can already see, like, the articles being written in all of that jazz. Uh, and it kind of sucks that that happens, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Happy hunting out there.